Hodge is playing the best game ever. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Project Drift Truck. This is going to be part four. In the previous video, we went ahead and removed this stock solid axle, and then we went to a junkyard and got this new axle. This is a Ford A8. It's awesome because it's super strong and still pretty light. The new axle obviously has a much bigger differential section and bigger tubes. Some nice big beefy disc brakes, which obviously need to be replaced because they're all rusty. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the new axle, start working on getting it into the truck. In order to get it into the truck, we have to do a couple of things. We're gonna start off by just removing everything on it, all the brake lines, the sway bar, get it nice and bare. Then we have to cut off the leaf spring perches and move them out a little bit and then re-weld them on. Then we're gonna clean up the entire thing, paint it, and then it's ready to bolt in. We'll then go ahead and put the new leaf springs in the truck, we'll bolt the axle in, and then we'll be all done. Hopefully we get all that done today. There's really not much else to do. We're gonna go ahead and start with removing all the accessories on the axle and getting to cleaning it, cleaning, cleaning it up, up. As you guys can hopefully tell, the uh, the axle cleaned up really well. Ignore the, the back plate thing. I'm gonna be taking that off and cleaning it separately. Either way, for it sitting in a junkyard for who knows how many years, it looks really awesome. Everything came apart really easily. What we're gonna go ahead and do now is modify the spring, the leaf spring perches. On the old axle, the perches are 38 inches apart. On the new one, they are 37 inches apart. So we have to move each one of these perches half inch out. In order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it off on each side, move it out half an inch, weld it back up. Should be pretty simple. Uh, kind of scary because this new axle, uh, it was quite a pain to get, so I don't wanna have to start over, which I'm sure we won't. So let's just do it right the first time.
bridge to cut off the leaf spring perches, clean up the axle, and clean up the perches. I now have them in the place that I'm pretty sure they're gonna go. I'm gonna tack them in, then measure a million times, and if it lines up with the old axle, I'll weld it all up. So here we are. Last night I finished welding the leaf spring perches and then I painted the entire thing in a nice canyon black. You guys didn't see that because I ran out of space on all three of my SD cards, which that just goes to show how much time I put into these videos. That was 96 gigabytes worth of footage in one day. I usually spend two to three days on a video, which means like 300 gigabytes worth of footage, which takes a lot to record and takes a lot to edit. Give me credit, please. But yeah, the axle itself is ready to go into the car. We have some bad news though, because, um, well, see, when we were pulling this out of the Ford Explorer in the junkyard, I decided I didn't need to take the U-bolts, which are what clamp the axle onto the leaf spring with me, because I was like, eh, they're rusty. I can get new ones at the auto parts store for like 10 bucks. I was wrong. I went to like five different auto parts store around here, and they did not have U-bolts for a Ford 88, which is like the most common rear axle. What, why? What? So I ordered some online. Those will be here in a couple of days, but we can't put the axle into the truck until we get those. However, we do have a little bit more work that we can do. We have to make a new plate that clamps the axle into the leaf spring because the U-bolts go down on top of the axle and then they have to bolt something on the bottom of the axle. Oh, and my camera just died. Well, I'll just do it and you'll see. <laughs> That was the first time that ever happened to me. Safety glasses for the win, except now I only have two left. Damn it. Are you kidding me? It broke another one. Ah! Angry! Piece of crap. My last one. I ain't going all the way to Bernard's again. It's like a 20 minute drive. <laughs> you piece of shit. No! It broke! <laughs> ah! Ah! Angry! Gah! I was gonna finish the little plates that allow the uh, axle to mount into the leaf springs, but not one, 
Knock two. Knock three. But four out of the five cutting blades from my angle grinder just shredded themselves to bits. Oh, it's this close. This close. Look at the quality. That's some nice quality, quality blade. I don't have time to go to Menards and do all that stuff, and I can't really actually finish them today anyway. Uh, I have to wait until I get those U-bolts to drill holes in them, so I don't really need to finish them today, but I wanted to make myself feel a little bit uh, better and actually get most of the way done. But, uh, this is just ridiculous. Like, come on. I was gonna say that I wanted to put the, uh, the axle into the truck, just kind of have it resting there, but I decided I'm not gonna do that because if I do that, well, that's just gonna be a pain in the butt to get the 300 pound axle into the truck by myself. I don't know, if, I don't know how I would do that. So I'm gonna wait until I have help. So that means in the next video, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the axle in, we're hopefully going to bolt it down if I have the D bolts, and then um, we've got a new 500 plus horsepower capable axle and the drift truck. A lot of you guys said that the leaf spring setup that we're doing, it's gonna have a lot of wheel hop and it's not gonna be great. I know, it's not gonna be ideal, but it at least lets us drive the car, the truck, for under expensive. Uh, I was gonna buy just like a weld it yourself uh, four link kit, but even that is still like a thousand bucks. So, 150 bucks, that, that's what this costs, so. Much better. Besides the angle grinder cutting blade incident, I'm really, really happy with the way everything went. I successfully managed to cut off the leaf spring mounts, move them over on the axle. I managed to pretty much make some new mounts in the car, the truck for the, the U-bolts. The axle looks really awesome. It's nice and clean. It's painted, so that's awesome. Another thing we're gonna do in the next video is mount the sway bar so we have swayness. I'm really excited to see how this truck feels First of all, with a 300 horsepower V8 engine, which is coming this week. Secondly, with some awesome suspension. Like this, this suspension is gonna be so much different, especially once we get the Miata coilovers up front, which I did order, those are on the way. I also just wanna say thank you. You guys are really, really supportive of the series. You guys are loving it, so that's awesome. You guys also understand that it's better to take my time and do this stuff right than try to rush and get these videos out. So, yeah, these videos are coming out as often as I can. This is what I have to deal with every day. It's like 100 degrees. It's really sweaty. I'm really dirty. The shop's a mess. I need to clean the shop. Uh, another thing I want to say, I'm not releasing this video until I, I release a gaming video. So, if you're seeing this video, that means there is a gaming video out on Gamium. So go check out my second channel, the gaming channel. I don't know what it's gonna be. It depends on if my Elgato works or not or what happens, but go check it out. Give that channel a subscribe. Get me monetized on that channel. Yeah. Well, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Axel is ready to go in. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. See you later. Thank, uh, like, dislike, subscribe. Yeah.